What's going on, everybody? Um, back. It's been a little bit since I made my last video. Um, it's just been busy. Um, I had the wedding. Um, went and did our honeymoon. Uh, so I kind of was like, you know, busy with that. And then um, after that, we came home and we've kind of been like searching for, you know, houses and townhouses and stuff like that. So, you know, we've been doing that. Been really busy, but. Um, we kind of we find out, found our new place and all that, so um, you know it's it's a, it's a little less stressful now now that that's done. Um, but I'm sure some of you know, and by the title of this video, um, the Taurus is gone. Um, got rid of it uh, for various reasons. I'll kind of go over that in a little bit. Um, but yeah, I I got something new. Um, so let me know what you think. Um, like, you know, take a guess on what you think it is. Um, some of you will probably be surprised. Some of them, you, some of you won't. Um, just knowing who I am and, you know, what kind of type of person I am. But, um, yeah, so let me know what you think it is. And, um, we'll cut to what it is right here in a minute. Alright, so I will say it is dirty. Um, I got it about a week ago. It's been kind of crappy weather since. Um, this is actually the first day it's above freezing. As you can see, I'm wearing my Pontiac jacket and there is snow still on the ground right over there. So, but, um, all right, let's get to it. Here she is. Started so she can warm up. All a little bit about the truck um, you know so a lot of people ask me like why I got rid of the Taurus um, so I want to start off with that um, I'm not really gonna talk too much about it um, because I do have a another video of you know like uh, good bad and ugly um, for the Tauruses and that'll kind of give you a, a pretty good insight on why I got rid of it um, but it was one of those I bought the vehicle originally because I wanted something newer that I, I didn't really have to worry about um, that was comfy to do you know long drives with and stuff because as some of some of you know some of you don't I had another comments before the Taurus. Um, it was lifted, had mud tires on it, it was a six-speed manual, so I mean it was not the most comfortable truck to take trips on. Um, I did drive it from North Carolina back to Illinois, um, so I, I, you know I did make that trip, um, but it, it just wasn't really the most comfortable and it you know had over 200,000 miles on it, so I was kind of concerned about like um, just reliability of it and stuff and so I had gotten rid of it for the Taurus um, you know I, I 
in addition to all that, I also, you know, did want something a little fun, something that, you know, be quick or whatever, but still be comfortable and all that at the same time. And, um, you know, it kind of just, it fit the bill for what I was kind of looking for at the time. Um, but just as time rolled on, I just kind of got to know the car a little more and just, I don't know, it just, there was just so much riding on it that, like, the, the re whole reliability part of it, you know, one of the big reasons why I wanted to get it, kind of went out the window with a lot of the things that can go wrong with them. And then, on top of that, um, I, with the Taurus, either I would have to go rent something from U-Haul if I wanted to take the GTO somewhere, like if I wanted to go to the track or take it somewhere, you know, a further distance, um, I either would have to go and rent a U-Haul like I did for my video taking it to the tuner, um, or I'd have to buy something that was cheap enough that, you know, because I was making payments on the Taurus, so I'd have to buy something that was cheap enough that, you know, I could, you know, basically afford it, um, or, you know, it, it just, it left me in kind of a, a weird spot where I was needing a truck but didn't have one, um, so that's kind of where, you know, I ended up was just, I, the one car that I always regret getting rid of was my Cummins, and so, you know, I've kind of, been keeping my eye out. It wasn't always a Cummins that I was going to go back to. Um, I did find a few Silverados I was looking at, but at the end of the day, the Cummins, yeah, it was a little bit, it's a little bit older than the Silverados I was looking at, but um, it just, it, it fit the bill that I was looking at, and like I said, the one vehicle I regret selling was my Cummins, and so I found this one at a great deal, and you know, kind of found myself in it. Um, so yeah, I, again, the reasons why I got it was, um, I just, I really missed my comments that I had before. I really wanted to get back into another truck. It just, it makes more sense, um, having a truck as a daily driver living up here in Illinois. Um, you know, especially through the winters that we have, it, it just, it makes more sense. Um, and it just, it, it worked, and it's what I wanted, so that's why I got what I got, and, um, yeah, so far I love it, I mean, it's, it's a little more, um, loaded with features than I was originally looking for, but, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying it, so, yeah, but, um, just wanted to let you guys know, um, and, you know, I know I said it with the Taurus, but, um, I'll actually be doing, you know, a decent amount of videos with this one, um, cause you know, it's, it's stock right now, so I want to do, you know, intake, exhaust, EGR delete, uh, stuff like that, and you know, like, I do want to put another lift on this, you know, some wheels and tires, so, you know, I'll, I'll take you along for all that, you know, hopefully you learn something, and enjoy my videos. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching and I uh, hope you guessed right.